Since 1930, members of the Commonwealth of Nations have celebrated a tradition of sporting competition. Five gold medals, one, two, three, four, five in the swimming pool. 88 years later, in this age of opportunity and renewed relevance for the Commonwealth, the notions of our movement and what it represents are more vital than ever before. For me, the Commonwealth Games means that we can share the very best of what is in the Commonwealth and also being able to share the cultures and the traditions that are so varied and so different. No idea what it felt to be told that you're going to a Games, especially your first Games at the age of 15, 16, and um, never having been in a plane before, never having been outside the UK before. Louise Campbell of Scotland has a perfect style. We had a very small team, there was only four girls in that team. To be selected to represent Scotland, we were awestruck, absolutely awestruck. People are starting to identify with the Commonwealth once again. This unique family of nations is seen as a force for good in the world. And the athletes, as leaders and ambassadors for Commonwealth sport, they see the opportunity they have to improve and transform society for the 2.4 billion citizens in communities all across the Commonwealth. These athletes truly embody who we are as a modern Commonwealth, sport with a social conscience and impact. Honestly, I never thought I would have been the one to actually make history in the Bahamas. With Gold Coast 2018, preparations for Birmingham 2022, new members joining our family of nations, the Commonwealth is in the spotlight once more. The Commonwealth Games are so completely different from any of the other major big games because we all have the shared values. We speak the same language and we are one big family. The Commonwealth is more relevant than ever before.